Hi everyone, this is Bonnie from Backward Story, and today I went to the first day of the Book Expo, um, which is mostly conferences, and we went to the Blogbound Conference in the evening, and these are the books that I have already taken away, and BEA doesn't officially begin until tomorrow, so I just wanted to give you a quick look at some of the books that people are buzzing about. And this is the book that I picked up tonight at the Blogbound Conference, and it was structured into three different panels. And at our first panel for Quiet YA, um, the publicist from St. Martin's uh, recommended a book that is coming out this year from them in November called Not Now, Not Ever. It's by Lily Anderson, and um, when you turn it over, it says it's Jennifer E. Smith meets the Fangirl's Guide to the Galaxy in this deliciously nerdy sequel to The Only Thing Worse Than Me Is You, inspired this time by the importance of being earnest. And the first book is inspired by Much Ado About Nothing. And I did not read the first book, but now I want to. But I know nothing about this book, and I went on his recommendation alone. So that is from Blogbound, and then now I will show you. So these are the books from the Adult Buzz panel today at the Javits Center um, for the first day of BEA, and it was my first time attending a buzz panel, which I've always wanted to do, but there's always something going on at the same time. And after the panel, um, we could take away the six books that they talked about during the panel. So this is the first book they talked about. It's by Liz Nugent. Uh, it is called Unraveling Oliver. It is about psychopaths. It was recommended if you like. Uh, Dexter and the talented Mr. Ripley um, and is just uh, about a psychopath. Um, I don't know if it's something that I particularly would read but I know people who would, some co-workers who would and it's going to be a big deal so I decided to take a look at that and this one comes out in um, it comes out in August, August 22nd. And the next book is Stay With Me by um, Ayobami Adobayo, and I'm sure I pronounced that wrong. And um, this also comes out in August, and this is about um, a woman where in their culture um, polygamy is accepted, but she wants to be the one and only wife, and um, her husband is okay with that, and then she is unable to bear a child, so he gets married again, and then there's an accident, and the second wife dies, and so it's got that thriller suspense um, thing going on that is so popular right now in books like Gone Girl and Girl on the Train, um, so that is something that will sell very well in that genre. This book also comes out in August. It comes out August 29th, and this one out of the six books at the panel was probably the one that got the most acclaim and had the most people's attention. Um, the editor who acquired it, um, the last time she was at BEA, she talked about Station Eleven by Emily St. John Mandel, which was a book that I read and loved, and it's been on a bunch of bestsellers lists. Um, she also published Gone Girl by Gillian Flynn and Fate and Furies by... I forget the author, um, Lara something, I think, in the same year. So she has been known for acquiring very uh, popular books. Um, this book is one, it is called My Absolute Darling. It is by Gabriel Talent. And um, she said that this is going to be a book that is memorable throughout the generations. The main character, Turtle, is, I believe, 14. And she will be as memorable as Scout from um, Harper Lee's To Kill a Mockingbird, as well as the main character from Alice Siebold's um, The Lovely Bones. And she said that she doesn't know Stephen King. Stephen King is not on her publishing label, but one day he sent an email talking about how this book was so wonderful, and it was one book on a very, very short list of books that will be something that stayed with him for all time. So we all really, really wanted to get our hands on this one because it sounds absolutely amazing, and it comes out August 29th. The next book is um, a September release. It comes out on September 5th, and it is historical fiction. It is called The World of Tomorrow. It is by Brendan Matthews, and this book was um, acquired after a 150-page sample, which Little Brown very rarely does because if you do that, you know, the book might not be good. The book wasn't finished. It took him a long time to write, um, but the book has already done incredibly well for them. Um, they acquired it right away. Like I said, it's historical fiction. Um, it's been termed ragtime-esque. It takes place at the turn of century in New York City. And um, 
they say that every year um, people try to write a book about New York and they never quite get there and that they really don't need to try anymore because this book is so masterful at portraying New York um, the way that it was. So this book is going to be really big for fans of historical fiction. The next book is The Immortalists by Chloe Benjamin, which I actually have seen this book around online a lot. It's something that I think I've had emails and like newsletters in my email about this book. Um, the cover is gorgeous. It's definitely one of my favorite covers of the year. I love the way the branches go in and out of the title here. And um, this one doesn't actually come out until January of 2018, so there's a little bit of a wait on this one, um, but it's one that I have been hearing about repeatedly already on social media. It takes place over five decades, and it is about siblings who go to a fortune teller, and uh, the fortune teller specializes in telling you the day of your death. And so it brings up, like, it sounds like it's going to be a big book club book. It brings up questions about, do you want to know the day of your death? Um what would you do with your life? How might you change your life? And they said that it's actually not so much a book about death. It's not a sad book. It's very optimistic, very joyful. Um, every section is, there will be a section from one sibling's point of view and then another's and then another's. And so you intimately get to know each of these characters as they go through life. And it will make you either want a sibling or um, want to call your sibling or remember your sibling if your sibling is no longer with you. And that it very much is a celebration of family. So that one, whenever I saw it online, I was kind of like, I don't know. I'm not sure if this is something that would exactly appeal to me, but I look at it every single time that the title comes up and the cover comes up and it sounded so interesting today that I definitely want to read it now, but it doesn't come out until January. So mark your calendars now because it's going to be about a little more than half a year wait. Finally, um, this book doesn't have a cover here. Oh, wait, yes, it does. You just have to open it up a little bit. It is The Woman in the Window. It is by A.J. Finn, which um, I won't tell you the person's actual name for in case they don't really want it getting around. There was a story behind that, and if they post it online, they do, but I don't really want to spread that information myself. Um, but the story's pretty cool, and this is definitely going to be a book when they... When they were describing the book, it reminded me a lot of The Girl on the Train um, because it was about a woman who would look out the train every day and make up stories about the people that she saw at this one house. And then um, one day she sees something through the window and the story takes off from there. And this is about a woman who... Um, looks out the window every day at this one family and she sees something that happens so it kind of reminds me of that it's already been optioned for film um there are like star studded um directors and writers and producers already attached and um a lot of the like big Hollywood actresses are auditioning right now for the part of the main character so this is a book that's definitely going to be in that thriller category so yeah, that's everything I got on day one. Um, hopefully this video uploads properly. I've never like uploaded straight from my cell phone onto YouTube before, um, but I'm gonna try to do that for the next couple days. So hopefully everything's flipped right and doesn't have to be fixed or altered or anything like that. Hopefully the lighting's not too bad. It's pretty dark in here and I can't get it any later. It's like 10, 10.30 at night, it's kind of late. Um, but I wanted you guys to see what I got the first day because six of the books came from Buzz Panel and one book was personally recommended as a quiet YA title that um, they wished got more attention, which I don't know that I said the date earlier, that comes out in November, um, but the first book in the series is out now. But yeah, so that is everything from me. Um, if this video uploads great tonight and you see it tomorrow, then check back um, tomorrow and on Saturday because I will upload BEA haul videos tomorrow night and Friday night and then post them the next day. So um, look forward to that if you are hearing this now and I will talk to you guys again soon. Have a great rest of your week and goodbye from New York.